Hi, my name is Lance Lampert, and I'm an operator here at our Eklutna Water Treatment Facility in Eklutna, Alaska. And this is the first point of entry of our raw water from the Eklutna Lake. It comes into our treatment facility right here. As you can see, it comes through the wall right over here. The first point of entry and comes right along beyond me and makes a climb up top to our turbine. Here is a line we have tapped in to take high pressure raw water. We run this around our facility to supply fire protection to the whole facility. From downstairs, we've come up one level where the pipe went through the floor and up. Right behind me, you can see the blue rising pipe. That is our raw water. After it comes up through the floor, through our blue riser, the lines come over here and split off into two different directions. These lines wrap around to the actual turbine and come in at paddles at a high and low position, turning the turbine, creating our electricity. It is also here that we control the flow of raw water into our plant. This valve right over here, we can adjust in our control room the flow of raw water into the plant that we need. After the water has left the turbine, it's dissipated all of its energy. We've taken it from 80 psi down to a mere three to five pounds. That water comes out of that little wet well and down this large pipe, raw and untreated. This is where we add our first chemical treatment. This is a poly aluminum chloride, a liquid aluminum, that we add as a coagulant. Acts as a magnet, attracting all the debris that's in the water. Now most debris has a negative charge to it. Well, the poly aluminum chloride has a positive charge. And what they do is they attract all this material together so that it can create what we call a flock. And that makes them fall out of the water within minutes, it's called coagulation. Now, as we talked about earlier, that fire hydrant water we're taking off of our raw water line at a high pressure. Well, we're bringing it right back into our plant right at this point. We take that 80 psi water, reduce it down with this pressure regulating valve to 25 pounds, and send it right into our pipe. And what this does is create a slash mix, we call it. Mixes up that coagulant really, really well and starts uh, bouncing the chemical into the debris. And that's where our, our chemical process really takes off. This water we're checking here right now is directly after our coagulation process. The cloudiness of the water is due to the debris that's in the water, the dirt, the glacial silt that comes from the lake. Now we measure the cloudiness of this water in units, called turbidity units. And that kind of gives us an indication of how to treat the water. This water right here is at about 20 units of turbidity. Now, this is summertime. Now, in the middle of winter, our turbidity from the lake is right around one. So there's a dramatic difference between the amount of debris in the summer and the amount of debris in the winter. Now, right after the coagulation process, the water comes up from underneath this floor and enters a trough that goes all the way down to the other end of the building. Now, from this trough, the water is dispersed through eight different pipes and that enters us into the next stage of our treatment process, flocculation. Right behind me, you'll see these green motors and these square boxes. Well, below the concrete, in the water, are large paddles mixing together all the debris that's in the water along with our chemical. There are three stages of these motors that continue mixing. And then at the end of that process, we enter into our sedimentation process. It is here in the sedimentation process where all the debris that has been collecting together, becoming bigger and heavier, is starting to settle out. And that's very important in our process. This gives us an opportunity to remove any possible bacteria or viruses that might be in the water. Those viruses and bacteria are very small and they'll attach themselves to extremely small debris. And it's in this process that we get a chance to grab a hold of them settle them out and remove them from the water. We have rakes in our basins behind us that bring all the debris that's settled out right over here to this pit below me. Well, this telescoping valve right here opens up and uses the water from the basins to flush all the debris out of here. 
we send that water right on down to our lagoons. Now the debris has a chance to settle out in the lagoons. And we have pumps that take the water, pump it right back to our raw water supply, and we retreat that water. After the sedimentation process is done, we move to our next step of treatment, and that is filtration. Filtration is taking the water and running it through a material to remove the debris out of the water. That material we filter the water through is made up of anthracite coal, which is on the very top. Then below that is a layer of sand, and below that is a layer of gravel and rock. As the water travels through these materials, the debris in the water adheres to the anthracite coal and the sand, removing it from the water. Once our water has been filtered, it ends up here in our filter effluent chamber. It is here that we add our chlorine for disinfection and our fluoride. Once it leaves here, it ends up going through a large pipe and into our clear well. We have this storage facility so that we can meet the demands in the distribution system. And now the level of the water changes in this facility throughout the day. And as you can see right over here, we're about 24 feet. Normally we keep this from 20 feet upwards to 29, 30 feet. Now once it leaves here, it goes into a large pipe that distributes water to Peters Creek, Chugiak, Eagle River, and all the way into Anchorage.